What a bloody hell is this? I don't know, Sarge. Well, it can't be more of them. It just can't be. Open the gates! like so. When you walk across, slowly and quietly. Do not hurry. If you hurry, you will make a noise. But do not take too long either, because remember, you must turn when it gets to the end. I need my head look. Now just watch. You will see that you have plenty of time. When you are ready, go. I will follow. Or would you prefer me to go first? No, oh, no. In for a penny, in for a pound. What? I go first. Okay. What happens if they catch us? I do not know. I've never been caught yet. Now watch. Got another 32 for you, Sarge. No, I don't need another 32. Yeah, well, there's a lot more where they came from. Whole train loads of them just turned up at the station. We've only due another lot until next week. I, I just don't have the room for them. Oh, well, they're here, Sarge. Jesus. Okay, on you go. Sure, know your way around. I've been here for a long time. You too will soon know your way around. I don't think we'll be here very long. A couple of weeks and we'll be released again, Tony, for sure. Perhaps. What do you mean, perhaps? I do not know of anyone who has been released so far. Some people have been here longer than I have, and they're bringing in more people all the time. We're not really foreigners. We've been here for 20 years. Why would they keep us? True. I think we should be getting back. We've been there long enough. I don't want to get any trouble for something like this. I'll be okay. Do not worry. I often come out at nights. I get bored lying in the heart. Where do you go? Well, sometimes I uh, come here and just listen to the radio through the door. We are not allowed newspapers here, though you can get them if you pay the guards enough money. This is the easiest way to find out how the war is going. Sometimes I visit a friend. A friend? We came a friend. 
Her name is Betty. She lives in the other part of the camp. You can't get across here. Yes, you can. Where did you meet her? I was sent to work over there in the garden soon after I arrived. She brought me tea one afternoon and we talked and discovered that we had a mutual interest in Goethe. If she got permission from the commandant for me to tutor her in German. Her husband's quite important. Uh, works at a communication center somewhere near the camp in charge of the night staff. So, we began to meet twice a week, always with a soldier present, and we would have long conversations, always in German. We got to know each other very well. Then, one day, she invited me to come back and visit her that night. It was a sort of challenge, so I went. It was easier then to move around the campus. You things were more relaxed. It's more difficult now, but I still managed to visit her. I like her very much indeed. You're making me nervous. Come on, let's get back. Okay. I don't know why the Germans want to invade us. Looks to me that the buggers are all here already. Hey, let them in! Who is it? Was it easy? Oh, aye, it's a piece of cake. Can I go next time, eh? Can I? No. But I thought she's... No. Your father scares easily. <laughs> Too right, I do. He took us right across the camp. Right near the front gates. I thought we'd had that half a dozen times. And see why they locked them away. He's a daft. It was fun. It's no my idea of fun. Gentlemen, we welcome you to our camp. And I wish Tony a very happy birthday. It's not my birthday. You are 17 and a quarter today, no? Aye. So, today is the day that you should have joined the Navy. That's what you told me. Aye, but it's... That's not... a very important birthday. From today, you could have been fighting for your country, if your country had not locked you up first. Of course, get come now, This was, I think, very intelligent of the British. Anyone can see that he is a highly dangerous character. That's just crazy. I drink to that. Happy birthday, Tony. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I mean, I should write to my wife. Where can I get some paper? They will issue you with paper. But you cannot send a letter until you have been here for ten days. Why? Regulations. Well, I suppose if that's the rules, that's the rules. Doesn't make you angry? Anxious. No, angry. Your wife, uh, how will she manage? Well, she'll be okay. The cafe's closed now, so there's nothing to do there. She's still got plenty of friends. Folk that don't talk to her now are never really friends anyway. Did the police make you close the cafe down? <laughs> no, I closed it. Seemed like the best thing to do. We started getting some trouble at night. We never had any choice. They smashed the place up. They'd have killed us if they got the chance. No, that's not true. You're too soft, you. Tell them what happened. Go and tell them. There's nothing much. It's just the kind of trouble you'd expect when it looked as if Italy was coming into the war. Could have been much worse. No, no, no. Listen. It'd been happening for nearly a week. Every night, we'd get a crowd of them outside the cafe. Go back to Italy! See how you like it there! We hate wops! Bugger off! We don't want you and Paisley! We hate wops! 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 
Lock the bedroom door and stay there. As soon as we heard, I know. I'm sorry, sir. Some of those folk were boys I'd gone to school with. Most of them were folk who'd been into the cafe at one time or another. Most of them would go right back into the cafe now if it was open. They don't hate us. That was just something that flared up. It had to. That's it. Finished. You trust this country too much? Well, I live here long enough. I know this country. Sure, I trust it. Every day I am here, I grow more angry. The more I rage and complain, the more they regard me with suspicion. So I keep my head and I hold my tongue. But I do not know for how much longer I can do this. Oscar, Oscar. In Austria, I was a journalist. I started writing about the Nazis in 1933. And I've been working against them ever since. I worked on illegal newspapers. I helped to smuggle money into Austria, to smuggle people out. Then, when I could no longer stay in Austria, I went to France. I kept on doing whatever I could against the Nazis from wherever I was. And then last year, when even Paris was no longer safe, I came here. And what happens? I cannot get a work permit. There's no work permits for foreigners. I tried to join the Air Force. I am a qualified pilot, but no, you do not want me. Then in October, I am called to go before a tribunal that will establish my status. The chairman sees that I am a Jew and a member of the Austrian Communist Party, and that's it. I'm clearly a danger to the country. Soon after, I was arrested. I came to England to fight Nazis, and they locked me up. It is stupid. Oscar, is enough. I'm sorry. Forgive me. It's okay. You do not want one of these, no? Hey, sure I do. No, 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 no. They are they're not very good. Oh, come, Oscar, Peter. Come on, move it. What is it? I don't know. Let's clear away. Get into bed. Okay. Come on, up. Move the bed back against the wall. Come on, move it! You two, up at the top here, right? You keep the light on ten minutes. No longer. Is that clear? Hi. Just Was los ist? Nicht schlecht, Herr Specht. Hier. What is it? What is it? Uh. They took my watch, gold watch. They told me to remove it and 
The soldier put it in his pocket. <coughs> Dolly, you sleep on the floor, yes? Yeah? Aye, sure. Was denkst du? Ich glaube, dass ich werde meinen Bett nehmen. Na, viel Spaß. Junge, was machen Sie? Ich will nicht auf dem Boden liegen, solange ein Jude in einem Bett schläft. But what the hell did he say? Oscar, he can have it. Uh, please, let him have it. I, I do not want it. No, please. Oscar, what did he say? He says he will not sleep on the floor while a Jew sleeps on a bed. Oscar, no! No, 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 the soldiers are here. Oscar, don't cause trouble, we, please. We go and see somebody tomorrow. You just let it go for the night. Bruno, you take my bed. I will sleep on the floor. No, I do not... Bruno, play. take the bed. Okay. Okay. Wo essen wir, Judah? Dann ein Zimmer, Bruno. Wo essen wir, Judah? Was ist denn da, Oscar? Was does he want? Du willst doch noch, wo wir können essen. Right across the path, right there. You see the canteen in front of you. Thank you. Get another hat. <laughs> you can try, it will do no good. How well, you know that? Will you come with me to see the major? Okay. Wasn't he this busy the last couple of days? They must be getting more frightened out there. Sure. The closest we have come is uh, that it looks like tea, smells like coffee, and tastes like cocoa. Deutsch? Nein, Österreicher. Officer. Must have been brought in last night. We'll be organizing all the other Nazis in the camp. Are you okay? You sure? I, I'm perfectly all right. You've been here as long as Oscar? Longer. They let you see your wife. I sure hope they let me see mine soon. I have no wife. But Oscar's No. Said... No family. Hey, you told me Bruno had a family. No. But he did. No. Yes. We'd like to see the Major. Please. 
We'd like to see the Major, please. Sorry, please. No. Why can't we? He's busy. What do you want? Last night, two sailors were brought into our hut. We like them moved to another hut. Oh? Why? They're Nazis. You could all be Nazis for all I know. No transfers. There's no spare room anywhere on the camp. Look, I'm Italian. I live half of my life in this country. Don't shut. That's sensible advice. I want to see the major, please. There's no no point. I can't see the major. There's no point. There's only one sensible thing to do. What's that? Escape. It gotta be joking. Would be easy. You saw that. I saw nothing of the case. How are you gonna get over that fence? Could be done. Never. Hey, you wanna do it, you go right ahead. On my own, with this accent, <laughs> I would not get very far. Wait for me, you don't get very far either. Hey! What was all that about Bruno's family? You told me you had a family. I'm sure you did. I should have been more careful. Well, does he or doesn't he? Bruno and his family were in concentration camps in Germany, together at first, then split up. He was released because his sister managed to bribe someone, but she could, it seems, only afford one person. His wife and children are still there. He should never have left them. No, his sister told him that they were in England. He would never have left Germany otherwise. She was still trying to get them out, but he hasn't heard from her now for over a year. This is the story that Bruno told me when I came here first, but now... He says that they died two years ago, which is, I think, when he saw them last. And he really believes this now. It is as if he's killed them to stop them suffering. Must be sick. Yes. He's being destroyed by his sense of guilt. Why? Why should he feel guilty? He couldn't do anything about it. It doesn't matter. He is the one who escaped. He cannot forgive himself for that. I think it would be good if we tried to make sure that Bruno is never left on his own. In the heart, anyway. Sure, I tell Tony. But be careful. If he finds out, he's likely to become even more alarmed. Aye, sure. sure. <laughs> you had enough. Aye. Me too. Yes, we better get rid of this. See when this is all over, will we go back to Italy? <laughs> back to Italy? Aye. Back to Italy? You hardly ever been to Italy. I was born there. Three months you live in Italy, three months. The only reason you was born in Italy was because your mother wanted to be with her mother. So we all go back to Italy to wait for you to arrive. You know about Italy, eh? In Italy, you are either a priest, a gangster, or poor. We were poor. It's a beautiful country. Sure, it's very beautiful. What good is that when you're starving and your family's starving? No. This is where we live, and this is where we stay when all this nonsense is over. Hey, you say something in Italian, eh? Don't know any idea. Back to Italy. <laughs> Yes. Can I write? No, that's me. I'd like you packed and outside the main office in 25 minutes. Yeah, where's he gone? I don't know. Can I not go with him? I'm his father. It's not up to me. 25 minutes. Bertline. Yeah. Costello. See. Gennaro. Hi. Good. Here. Yeah. Okay. Into the lorry. Not you. Why? You're not on the list. What difference does it make to you where I'm kept? 
Doesn't make any difference to me, but I don't give the orders. I'm his father. I want to be with him. I'm sorry, you can't go. Don't make a fuss. It's OK. I'm not winning anymore. I can look after myself. Be careful. Aye, sure. You ride home as soon as you can. Your mother will let me know where you are. Sure. Don't worry. I'd like to see the Major, please. Gennaro, isn't it? Aye, that's right. OK. Wait a minute. Gennaro, to see you, sir. Right. OK. Come in, Mr. Gennaro, please. Take a seat. How are you? Well, I hope? Hi, I'm fine. Good. Look, I was... I know why you're here, Mr. Gennaro. I'm not quite sure how this has happened. It ought not to have happened. This is an unfortunate business. But I don't like to think we're making it any worse than it need be by splitting up families more than is necessary. However, it's done. There's nothing much we can do about it now. Okay. Can you not have him brought back? I'd feel much happier if he was with me. Ah, it's not that simple, I'm afraid. By the time any request went through, it would be too late. I don't understand. The government has recently adopted a policy of sending internees out of the country. Now, this makes perfect sense. If there is an invasion, and it looks more and more likely every day, we can't have camps full of fifth colonists and out-and-out -out Nazis dotted around the country just waiting to give the Germans a hand. Out to the country? Yes. To where? Canada, I believe. Canada? Yes. Canada? Yes, it's on the other side of the Atlantic. Just above America. Yeah, I, I know where Canada is. Yes, of course, I'm sorry. What the hell is Antony to Canada for? What's your language? I'm sorry. I don't know why your son was on that list. I don't even know yet where the list came from, although I'm trying to find out. Obviously, someone somewhere hadn't checked the files properly or hadn't got the files to check. I am assuming, of course, that they wouldn't know anything about him that I don't. Oh, God's sake, he's just a 17-year-old boy for Paisley. For the last three years, he's been helping me to make ice cream in the back shop and serving in the cafe at night. Any political activity? No. Look, I'm sorry about this. I even feel partly responsible, but there's nothing I can do. I don't even know where he's gone. It could be Liverpool, Greenock. It would take hours, maybe days, to find out. Then it would take several more days to get the authority to have him brought back. Then I should have to get that authority to whoever has him to have him released back into my custody. This is crazy. Yes, I understand how you feel. I don't share this hysteria about you foreign chaps that seems to be sweeping the country. I know the men here. Apart from the POWs and a few others, they're as pro-British as anyone. That's why I'm on your side. If you are on our side, why you not do something? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, Mr. Gennaro. I've already told you there's nothing I can do about your son now. He is completely out of my jurisdiction. You should be glad your son is gone. He'll be much better off in Canada. There's no food shortage over there. And of course, he'll be completely safe, no matter what happens here. Say anything to Bruno. Just worry him more and more. Okay. Oi. You know anything about the internees that went out this morning? Aye. What do you want to know? Who made out the list? I did. 
Why? What's up? There was a boy of 17 on the list. His father's on the camp. The Major's upset that we split him up. Yeah, well, I didn't know. It didn't say anything about that in the file. What'd you pick on him for? Divisional HQ gave me a quota. So many Germans, so many Italians. All categories. The bad bastards. They're shipping them off somewhere safe. Well, the Germans were in no trouble, but I was two Italian short. I needed three, and I only had one with any form. So I picked two at random. Go blimey. Well, I had to fill my quota. I mean, I phoned them up, and I said, could I no send them two mere Germans? But they said that would bugger up their quotas. Christ almighty. Who are you going to tell them? He'll only give us a bollocking. He'll want to see all the files next time, and we haven't got all the files. It'll just mean mere work for everybody. And Christ knows we've got enough of that as it is. I'll think about it. Listen, next time you make up a list, at least let me know. Aye. Right? Uh, Tar bomb. Come in. Sir, I've been checking up on the list of internees that went out this morning. Seems it came from Divisional HQ. Well, why are they drawing up lists of prisoners to be moved when they don't even have the prisoners filed? Sir, in many cases, we don't have the files either. Who issued the list? They haven't been able to tell me that yet, sir. Well, keep on asking. I do want to know. They are very busy, sir. All right, all right. But let's try and be a little more careful in the future. Yes, sir. All right. If we'd have done something wrong, all this would be much easier to take. Because nobody even accuses us of having done anything wrong. Major, friendly and pleasant and even sympathetic, just wouldn't do anything. In my last camp, there was a man that I knew slightly from back in Austria. He was German, but we'd met several times in Wien. His name was Karl Olbrich. He was a metal worker. Also, previously, a communist member of the German parliament. The Gestapo caught him doing underground propaganda work in 1935, and he was sent to concentration camp. Somehow, he escaped to Czechoslovakia and then to England. But here, he was interned like the rest of us. After one month in the camp, he had a complete nervous breakdown. He had survived two years in Dachau, but he could not take one month in a British camp. You see, he knew what to expect in Germany. When he came here, he thought he would be treated as a friend. Did not expect this. I'm sure we will not be here much longer. I'm quite sure. I think that we would be here for a very long time indeed. Do you think they're going to send Tony back from Canada next week? Or even next month? I don't know. You should escape. They don't even want to hear. Be crazy. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> don't see how. Even if you got out, what would you do after that? You don't stand a chance. The town is just up here, a mile or two away, yes? Hey. I would not go there. That is what they would expect. I would go south along the coast. About 25 miles away, there is another town. I would get a train from there to the south of England. There I would try to steal a plane. Oh, I... Mm. Or a boat. And then what? Uh, well, I might fly to Spain. If it was a boat, I would go direct to France. Of course. I shouldn't have known. <laughs> I came to this country to fight Nazis. They won't let me do it here. I will go somewhere where I can fight. What on earth will you do in France? I still have many friends there. I would get in touch with them. They would help me. It would be better in Spain, though. It would be safer to make the contacts from there and to go in from there. That's so crazy. So is this. Yeah, true. It's very true. But I'm still not going to
Oscar, you tell him to give me Tony's blankets. Geben Sie ihm die Decken. Please. Good. Where have they gone? The, the Nazis have started taking over the huts behind the canteen. They will be there. Let's turn this over. Happy, Bruno? Yes. It's good news. Perhaps I shall visit Betty. I have missed my leaps. No. Uh, why not? Is your husband there? No. Well, let me in then. No. Don't touch me, I'll scream. Been away for a long time. I couldn't get away from the hut. Now let me in. It wouldn't be right. Why not? Now that France has fallen, we're on our own. I feel it would be disloyal. Betty, please. Please, I will read to you from the sufferings of young Werther in German. No. Come on, get up over there! Move your mouth! 
What have you been up to then? Just felt like a breath of fresh air, sir. Oh. I think we'll give this uh, smart house basil oh. a couple of days in the pokey. Hello, Vena, Oscar Vena. Oh, Max Pau. Well, at least it's quieter than the huts. More room and less people. Why are you here? I hit the chaplain. Why? My wife is pregnant. So? I've been here five months. She was not pregnant when I came here. The chaplain was very kind. He sat beside me, listened to me. I write him the letter over and over again. He said everything would be okay if I just had patience and faith. That was when I hit him. You want to hear the letter? I, I read you the letter. Eh? I have no letter for two months. Now this, this is how it begins. Dear Max, prepare yourself for a surprise. I've had a bit of bad luck. Soon after you went away, I was having a difficult time making ends meet. Fortunately, the butcher seemed to understand. What is it? The sailors who were here. Spoke to me in the canteen. They hurt you? No. Too many people. What did they say? They said Germany will invade very soon. Four or five days. It's nonsense. No, they have a radio. I'm sure they have a radio. Everyone knows they have a radio. The soldiers search for it, but they have not found it. Maybe they don't have one. No, not as they do. I doubt it myself. No, they do. It is trying to scare you. They will invade. Nothing can stop them now. We will be trapped here waiting for them. What will they do when they find me? You will see then how the Germans treat Jews. They are brutes. They will kill us all. Ah, this is nonsense. If Germany does invade, all prisoners will be treated honorably. No, I feel sorry for him. He's crazy man. I have seen it. In Germany, they do not treat Jews the way he says. All these are lies. No. Lies. No. no. I do not lie. No, I know, I know. Quiet, quiet. Lies. Good morning. Anyone for breakfast? Are you OK? How do I look? <coughs> Good. That's how I feel. Come, I'm hungry. <coughs> Leonardo. Hi, that's me. I'd like you to come with me. Where? Just come. You as well.
You. Wait here. Come in. Shin out of, sir. Please, sit down. I am afraid I have some very bad news for you. Your son, Anthony, is dead. Tony, no. The ship on which he was traveling to Canada was torpedoed by a U-boat. I am afraid your son did not survive. All right. You would better go to him. His son is dead. How is he? Would you like the doctor to see? Or the chaplain? It is my wife now. I believe she has been told. Who by? Well, I'm not sure. I would imagine the police. Jesus, Jesus. You gotta let me see her. Please, she won't be able to take this on her own. We, uh, we might be able to arrange something. When? It would take time. How long? I'm not sure. Several weeks, perhaps. It's no good. I've got to be with her now. Believe me, you have my deepest sympathy. But what you ask is not possible. I have no authority to release you. I can only do as I'm told. If it were my choice, I would let you go. Of course I would. But please, don't ask me to do what I cannot. If you still think you can get this out of here, I know we... Okay. When? Tonight. Okay. Well, no. We are going now. Mach's good, okay? Never oil. You sure you'll be okay? I will be fine. Be careful. Don't worry. It is best.
How are you? I'm fine. We've done it. You see, I told you we could do it. That's the hardest part over. The rest is easy. I hope so. Good, I hope so. Come, we should start. Half past twelve. We should still make the town tonight. Don't move. Hasn't he seen us? We'll wait here till he goes. If it's just one, that shows that they do not expect us to come this way. They're only checking. I feel a criminal lying here, but I've only done a thing. I'm innocent. Innocence is no guarantee of anything. <sighs> We're not going to make the turn tonight. No. Guten Tag. Die Invasion beginnt heute Nacht. Wir haben es im Radio gehört. So. You think we should go in the back here? Looks empty. Hi. You take a chance. All right. Rest. I need to find some water soon. You got any bread left?
My knife. It's gone. Are you sure? Must have dropped out when I fell. Can't open the tin without it. Doesn't it matter? You get all you want to eat in the town in the morning. I can last till then. She could be anywhere. I've had that knife for years. It has helped me out of all sorts of scrapes. Hey, that noise could carry for miles. You can get all you want to eat in the morning. Come on, let's get on. No point carrying me. Still thirsty? Yes. Let's get up off the beach, see if we can find a bum. What? Some water. Come on. We should move. This way! I want to know how you got out. I know it was you who organized it. It wasn't Gennaro, I'm quite sure of that. 
Tell me. I shall find out anyway. You might as well make it easy on yourself. I'm wasting no more time here. You are an ignorant bastard. My son is dead. My wife is alone. She needs me. I know that. I understand how you feel. Why you keep me here then? Why you not let me go home? It's not my decision. I can only do as I am told. But I haven't done anything wrong. I am innocent. That's not quite true. You may have been innocent before, but not now. You tried to escape. You had broken the law. You are now in a very serious position I indeed. I want to see my wife. All in good time. How did you get out? I can do nothing for you unless you tell me how you escaped. Well? See how much shit this will come. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Non importa. Sorry? Non importa. Se ha uno usciti sul camion usciti dal portone è facilissimo. Perché siamo qui in prigione? Voglio andare a casa. Perché non posso andare? 